What's going on guys? I'm Viper and this is going to be episode 4 of Tips and Tricks with Viper. And in this episode, basically we're just going to be talking about um, how to make some um, decent uh, looking materials in Cinema 4D. Some of the settings that I use, um, I'll go over that in this tutorial as well. Um, we'll also be taking a look at some um, other tips and tricks that we can do to make our materials look better, just not with material, but with um, other surroundings um, around it to make it look really nice. So yeah, let's just jump right in. So most of you, if you're not using some sort of preset um, or uh, Lightroom um, or like yeah something already done for you and you're just starting out with a clean slate, just go ahead, um, make your, well, yeah, make your output 1920 by 1080. And for now, I mean, we're not going to be working with frames, so you don't have to mess with that. And then, um, you know, I mean, you can change it to PNG, or I mean, excuse me, QuickTime Movie or whatever, but I mean, we're not going to really be using this. You're just going to want to go to Effects, go down here to, well, you don't need global illumination for this. So we're just going to be doing ambient occlusion. And for the contrast for ambient occlusion, make it about 20. Okay, and you know, this is just basic for now. This is really all we need. Okay, so for here, you can already see that I've already put up a camera and a sky. So um, if you guys didn't know, down here you can mess with all your positioning and stuff. And this is where I get my really clean looking Cinema 4D, like where you don't see any of the grid. You just make everything zero and then, uh, except for the position Z, you just knock that back about like 900 to 1000 and you'll be good to go. So from here, um, I also made a sky. <clears throat> and it's just a plain sky, there's nothing to it, but we're going to change that up real quick. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go to Content Browser, you're going to go to Presets, and most of you should have this, it should be called Prime. If you don't have the broad, if you have the uh, Studio Edition of Cinema 4D, you will have this. Click on it, go to Materials, um, let's see, HDRI, and this is the HDRI I use in my Lightroom, so it's really awesome. I use number 18. And yeah, so now we can just drag that onto our sky, and you'll see if we move around, it's gonna be like a whole little sky thing, image jigger. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll do my best. Basically, it's just covering the whole outer area of this um, <clears throat> Cinema 4D scene. And right now, but like if we render it out, you're gonna see we're gonna see that picture. We don't want that. So all we need to do, right click on our sky, Cinema 4D tags compositing. This is very important. Click um, uncheck scene by camera and boom, it's gone. Go back to our regular view and we're, we're set. So yeah, that's, that's it for that. Um, but now we actually want to start getting into materials. So double click down here to get a new material. You're going to come um, right click on here and we're going to make it so it says object soft shadow. And if you guys did not know, you can right click, hold it down and you can move it around a um, cool Cool little tip that I've seen people do before. It looks pretty sweet. So we'll do something like that. It looks. Uh, we'll do something like this. Uh, we'll just bring it back to its normal thing, I guess, or whatever. Whatever that looks like. Whatever it doesn't matter. Get it like you want. It. Then go ahead, go to your color, and oh, well, yeah. We need to actually go and get something. So go to Google, and I'm gonna type in uh, metal texture. Seamless. Now, the reason I put seamless is it's going to be a perfect square and nothing, and you won't see any direct lines, which will look really nice. Um, and you want to look for the square square ones. Can't talk. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pause this, and when I find a good um, texture, I'm going to come right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I found a pretty decent material. It's really nice. So come to your color, and you're going to go to texture, hit load image. And I named mine like something weird, seamless. Yeah. Hit open, um, and it'll say this image um, is not not in the project search path. Just hit no, and then boom, you'll get it. <clears throat> so right now it's gonna look just plain and not really anything to it. Um, and if you have a light material, um, I always recommend, especially with lighting and stuff, uh, grabbing this white color, changing it to black, and where it says mix strength, I make it about 90. 90 to 80 and for this one I'll do about 80 so it makes it a little darker we're also gonna come here and we're gonna go to layer now if you guys didn't know this um, coming to this little thing and hitting layer if you click on the layer and you ever wanna change a color of something or make it all black and white 
you can come here and go to effect and you have all these things like human saturation, contrast, colorize as well. So I'm actually just going to come to contrast and bump some of that up. Ooh, it's a little too much. Something like that. That looks good. I'm a little less. Okay, so we're on like 15. And yeah, so th that's good for that. <clears throat> so, you know, it looks pretty cool. All right. So I'm actually going to right click and I'm going to go to sphere soft shadow so you guys can see the whole thing. Now, from here, all we need to do is go to reflection. Now, this is where it, is where it gets fun. If we go to about 50 right here, uh, we'll start to see that it looks very glossy, but we don't really want that. Um, and especially since it's going to be, um, th since there's no blur, we're going to see the actual image outside of our of our view, and we don't want that. So what we actually want to do is come down to where it says blurriness, change that to about 25 to 30. And this is looking good already. Looks really nice. So now we can kind of see, oh man, let it load. It's looking really good so far. I mean, yours should, you probably can see it from where you are too. Okay, now if you want displacement, you can. I'm actually not. So I'm going to go to bump. And we're going to come here and we're going to go to texture, uh, copy channel. We're going to go to bump. We're going to go to texture, paste channel. And then boom, we have this, uh, we have this bump map. Um, and we don't want too much. We could go all the way, but then that's going to look really bad, I think. Yeah, it's going to look too weird for the reflection. So just do around like 14, about. And that'll look pretty cool. So yeah, uh, that's usually just what I do to make materials. That's like my secret. Um, that's all the stuff I usually do in there. You can you can come... Oh, I'm done. I'm not done. Uh, go to Specular. And you can change it to Metal if you'd like. But I don't like doing that. I like going back to plastic. It'll just give it a better look, in my opinion. Even if it's a metal um, texture, I just like keeping it like this. You're going to make your width down. You're going to make your height up. Your fall off, you can make it a little more. And you can make your inner width about like 20. Make your fall off a little less if you want. You can make the height and width a little more too. So something like this. You can read you off the settings if you can't see them. The width is 29. Height is 35. Fall off is 5. And the inner width is 20. Okay. So that's going to look good. So now, um, actually, we're going to make the width even skinnier. Yeah, that looks good. So the width, I made the width about 20. So from here, we're pretty much done. We can just apply this to anything we have. But I don't have anything. So I'm actually just going to merge. Let's find some... Um, let's find like an AI file we can use. Probably have like the SOAR one. I like the SOAR one. SOAR is the best logo in my opinion. It's very, it's very clean. Come on. My computer's very slow today. I'm sorry. SOAR.AI. Better find something. There we go. Alright, now hit OK. Do all your, you know, extruding your nerves and everything. And yeah. So let's just do that real quick. I think there's, oh, there's only two. Whatever. Okay, we're just gonna drag those in there. Boom, boom, and come into object. Make it a little deeper, about 75 caps. Fill it cap, fill it cap. Boom, 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 boom. Do two actually. And yeah, so now we have this. Actually, we'll move it up a little bit. And if we render it out, it's gonna look pretty plain because you don't have anything on it. But if we go ahead and add this material. To both, it's a key, cubic, run it out. You start to see, without any lighting, it actually looks pretty good. Without any lighting, which is nice. But let's just add some light. So, what I'm actually going to do to save time is I'm going to merge my light setup because it's just going to it's gonna save time and I don't want to waste your time. Um, let me get my. Desktop, light setup, okay. So now we're just gonna merge this, we're gonna delete text and all that jazz. Come into this camera, because I actually like this one better. Delete this, zoom out. Okay, and then from here, we can delete one of these guys, so I'm just gonna delete this one. And now we'll have something like this. Um, oh, I deleted the, one second, you gotta, Oh, I deleted the lighting. Silly me. So obviously keep your lighting because you you want something like that. And you see it's 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 bright up. And I can briefly go over what's in the lighting. I just have two soft boxes. 
um, a plane, and a bunch of fill lights to make everything lit up. Um, it's just going to look a lot better. Okay, so if we go here, we're just going to rotate this so it kind of we can kind of see what's being affected. And if we just render it out, wait for that to go. All right. We'll start to see. Um, well, you'll you'll see in a second. It's actually looking really nice. You can kind of see some of the bump over here. Um, but what I really like is these accented edges um, along the sides and the edges of the logo. Um, it kind of gives it a, a, like a bigger pop or a, a better feel to it, which looks really nice. And I actually noticed something. This material, when we render it out, is kind of... Um, it's not fully black and white, and sometimes I get picky with that. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to Effect, Hue, Saturation. I'm just going to bring down that saturation all the way. And it may, in fact change something and no it really didn't <laughs> but that's fine so yeah there's one material and let's see how much time we're at and you can do this honestly with, uh, with any material it works for with anything um, you know and to make it faster all you really need to do is just duplicate your material and then when you come into here if you find like a new texture like let's say I want to use something different that looks weird like for instance, let's say I want to use, um, I will go with this one, something like this. Hit save, FFFF, whatever. Go in here, load the image, and then find what it was called. So I need mine. Whatever you called it, and it'll just keep all the settings, but just change the picture, which is uh, really cool. There it is. And then it'll just change, and you can do the same with the bump. So save time, you know. Just go copy channel, paste channel, boom, you're done. You can get a little more bump if you want. And then yeah, then you have your material here too, which is uh, pretty cool. And yeah, that's literally just how I make all my all my materials. Um, just doing that, it's really good. Um, <clears throat> I really do recommend my Lightroom because with uh, with this material little guide that I do um, it looks great everything looks very real and like I don't know I'm just I've been having a lot of fun with this Lightroom I feel really comfortable in it and I just it saved me a lot of time um, so if you guys are actually interested you know and eventually uh, picking this up I'll leave links in the description if you guys want to go check that out so yeah um, that's it for this uh, tutorial kind of just a quick one going over uh, my material settings and stuff sorry if it was longer than it should have been but yeah uh, those are my material settings. Um, leave a comment um, what you guys want to see next week. Um, I apologize because I actually haven't done one of these in two weeks just because of family and holidays and all that stuff. So, yeah. But I will be doing one next week, hopefully. Leave leave a comment down in the description what you want me to do. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, I will definitely look at them. So, yeah, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.